hey guys so we're back with another hair tutorial today so love me sponsored this um wig this is a 16 inch lace frontal wig from love me hair um the hair came in the color 613 platinum blonde so that's like the blonde with like a yellow undertone but off camera i did go in and tone the wig and i toned it by taking some purple shampoo some shimmer light shampoo put a few drops in some hot water stirred it around and then i dipped the wig inside of that hot water and purple lights i mean purple shimmer light shampoo left that in there for like five minutes came back checked the wig and it was this nice toned ash blonde color so now today we're doing a glueless install i'm doing a new method i'm just spraying the gossipy spray and some nairobi foam along the hairline as you can see before i cut the lace just trying something new i'm going to tie it with my elastic band um put the blow dryer on it allow it to dry and then we're going to come back yeah that last band could be dangerous when you unraveling it, that snapback game it's crazy you gotta be careful but now i'm going ahead and um cutting along the hairline cutting the access lace off helping shape the wig more to my natural hairline as this, if you can see instead of taking scissors i'm using a razor just for more of a jagged type of look yeah so now I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. So now I'm going in with some makeup and putting it right on my part just to help bring out the part more. Make it look a little bit more realistic, scalp-like, whatever you want to call it. Then I'm going in, putting the mace, I mean putting the makeup in front of my lace. Just to blend it to my skin even more. You see how I have a a cast, like a white cast around it? Yeah. Just wanna blend that out a little bit more to match my skin. Mm-hmm. That looks better. And of course I'm gonna add baby hairs. I love baby hairs. Um, I don't know, that's just me. I love baby hairs, but of course, when I customize wigs and stuff, it doesn't necessarily need them. I just personally love baby hairs on my wigs. Especially for this type of look I was going for. I don't know. I just wanted to look real Barbie dollish. I don't know. But I love the color that it turned out after I toned it. Uh, 613 hair naturally has like a yellow undertone in it and it didn't look right on my skin that's why i went in and toned it for more of a cool tone a cool warm tone and if you go on youtube and type in tone how to tone 613 hair there are plenty of videos showing you using shimmer light shampoo it's easy it's quick i just forgot to record it and show you guys and i'm so sorry for that but i will be sure to show you guys that in the next video Whenever I stroll upon some blonde 613 hair again. So now I'm going in and doing my baby hairs. As you can see, I am gliding that comb across and gliding it with my fingers. Just kind of like a repetitive motion that I'm doing right now. Yeah. And I'm going to tie my elastic band around again and allow it to dry with the hair dryer come back and yeah this tutorial is straight to the point quick easy and fast and as you can see that is laid i really like how the baby hairs came out nice and wispy with mousse they come out nice and wispy and soft i'm just going in and shaping them more combing them out and yes adding some more layers in the hair in the front of the wig throughout the wig i wanted to be real flowy and nice and just scalp like and like wow mm -hmm. yes that looks like it's growing from the roots i hope you guys enjoyed this video i did take some pictures 
and I loved it. Right there, I did go in and cut the wig even more into like more of a bob and I fell in love. This wig is beautiful. This wig is lovely. I highly recommend it. Use my code JADA20 for 20% off your order when ordering a wig and peace.